the moral missing thread. See that on the screen? Did you see that? I saw the screen lose focus for a minute. And lots of bugs and dust. There's like a big, huge cloud of smoke that went by. Well, duh, you're vaping. No, I'm not. But you need to... Up, you no, need to. my vape's in my pocket. What lies behind me is the orifice to the graveyard known as Old Stone Cemetery. Today, I am joined by my friend Tim, the Time Lord, and we're going to see just how far back this place dates. This is Tim. Wait, didn't you have Doritos? All right, so so Tim, tell us the uh, the three rules. Oh, the three rules? The three rules. <clears throat> okay. I wouldn't necessarily consider myself a believer, but I don't necessarily consider myself a skeptic either. And anytime you're dealing with anything along the lines of the occult, especially if you're thinking in terms of non-corporeal intelligent entities, always bear these three rules in mind. Number one, always operate with the knowledge that no matter how much you think you know, everything you think you know could be completely wrong. Number two, be extremely careful what you wish, ask, bargain, you know, for whatever, however you want to express it. Be extremely careful how you interact with them. Because anything you get, you will pay for. At some point, somehow, some way, most likely in ways you never thought of and didn't expect, you will pay for any assistance you get. Like if you use uh, magic or take something from the dead. And number three, probably one of the most important. Once you get in, there is no out. Kind of like the CIA that way. Or a drug cartel. Once you get in, there's no getting out. You might think you gave it all up and you left that life. No, you didn't. It just doesn't need you yet, but it will come for you eventually. There is no getting out. You don't live that life. That life lives you. This reminds me of a cemetery and children shouldn't play with death things. We shouldn't play with that thing. It's cool. Oh, Some more graves here. A lot of smaller graves. 1840. a broken piece of a grave. This looks like seven no I can't tell what that is. It's something I can't tell 1796 
1796, so it's getting kind of getting kind of old. Girls, Marge and Marge. So at nighttime, as I was saying, this place is a whole different ball game, especially right here in this concentrated little area. You're the EMT, you better be all right. There's an overturned tree, it's trying to imitate some of the graves here. Here's another part of the burial wall that looks like it has, or border wall, I mean, that looks like it has sort of toppled over. It's interesting to see where all this wall goes see see a date on this and it looks like 1818 just kind of following this wall for now to see where all it goes because I've never followed it back on this side before. But somebody, somebody has had a Mountain Dew here. Yeah. I'd just like to say, I think that, matter of fact, I'm going to pick it up and take it with me. That's a little disrespectful. It's a little more than disrespectful. I don't know. A lot of people would probably say that even being out here like this is sort of disrespectful. I disagree. But... If you are going to come out into a cemetery like this, uh -huh. don't fucking litter. Right, right, exactly. That's ridiculous. We, uh, we discovered Sam the other night <clears throat> here in this section of a lot of, a lot of graves. We figured this would be the hot spot of activity and we were correct. There was definitely a presence with us, and it could have been Samuel Robinson. That negativity that we would be. Tim, there's something. Hold that thought. Still out of focus? Yes. It went more out of focus. Now there's all sorts of shit flying around. Still out of focus? Badly, yes. What? Uh, I'm not seeing anything, but or feeling anything, but if nothing else, the camera should have focused on me. It and didn't. then the focus of the problem is I walked through that area. Nope, it just got more and more blurry. <laughs> 